Hey YouTube, it's Maggie Bot here for vlog number four. Um, it is a Thursday evening, I don't know if you can tell, but it's still sunny out and I'm not playing games, which means that I have been at a mini, uh, it's not It's not a convention, it's a trade show. I went to a retailer's trade show for the last two days, um, and it's put on by GTS Distribution, who's a very local distributor. Um, it's a lot of fun, so they invite people who do uh, retail sales, buying, management, that type of stuff to come in and talk directly face to face with vendors who have new things coming out, new organized play, stuff that they want to introduce, stuff that maybe not selling and they don't know why. They, they just want to make like a connection. This also kind of gives a little props to your distributor who works very hard for you and they like to put on a little little show for you. I did not get to go out to the showroom, which was something I wanted to do, which is their big warehouse full of stuff. And yes, it's as thrilling as it sounds, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> but the biggest problem with a day like this is that it's a ton of people. It's people I sort of know, that I don't know. It's introductions. It's talking. And I'm just so, so rotten at that stuff. I really am. And once I know you, you're as good as gold and we can chat all day. But me just going up to someone and saying hello takes every last bit of my strength. So I'm taking the whole evening off. I'm going to sit here and watch bad movies and paint my nails. <laughs> Uh, that being said, um, so this won't be my normal content because when you go to these things you're much more evaluating, well, will this sell? Will this be a big deal? Is this something that others will enjoy? And so I did very little of um, game research just for me personally because uh, right now is not the season for me shopping and that will be in the next few months once Essen comes around. Um, so. Uh, biggest things I found out about, um, we got to play a copy of Dark Gothic from Flying Frog Productions. That's a local game maker up here in Redmond. Uh, they make Last Night on Earth and Fortune and Glory. And Dark Gothic is their, it's their ascension. It's their uh, DC deck builder, but it's in the touch of evil universe. So banshees and vampires rather than superheroes really well implemented, a little bit asymmetrical, kind of a world goal. You're trying to defe defeat big bad guys. Um, though at some point I thought I was ahead and I was trying to like speed it along and let the bad guys kill us so I would win. Uh, the game designer was not so thrilled with that decision. Um, next I tried out Harbor, which is still on Kickstarter from Tasty Minstrel. Clever, smart little $20 board game. Um, not my style of art, but I think it was the same kind of style as Belfort. So if you like those little goblin-y type things, that's that's the one. Nicely restrictive, kind of cool interactions. I would say the cards are going to need to be tweaked just a smidge more, but it seemed pretty polished already. Um, I think I caught Michael Mendez, the guy from Tasty Minstrel, just a little off guard because I think he was tired from driving up here for, like, what, Arizona or something. Um, the next one of the evening, we played some Fantasy Flight card games. They're coming out with all these little games. One is Star Wars. One is called Art of War. One is a Game of Thrones two-player game. Um, Art of War is also known as Risk Express over in Britain. Uh, Rise of Augustus was only this big and you could buy it for $10, sure. Um, not my style of game, so I kind of hounded the Fantasy Flight guy a little too much, which I want to do. But the next day he came up and he talked to me about 40k Conquest, which is one of their new LCG licenses. It's the uh, Warhammer 40k game, and he told me a little bit about the gameplay and it's kind of battlefields, and once you win one type of battle, you kind of want that one again and you get these big commanders and yes yes sign me up I like I like the LCGs I like the card games they're very very fun and this is Eric Lang and smartly done and very brutal combat this time around you you, you both declare attackers and you attack damage and you tap them and then if you have dudes left they untap and they just keep battling till one side is actually decimated which is kinda cool 
Um, as far as things for the the every gamer, um, there was a lot of talk of King of New York, which is the King of Tokyo follow-up from Yellow Games, and that one is just a functionally a little more strategic than King of Tokyo. I've pre-ordered it up the wazoo. It's going to be a whole big deal. But Yellow's really, really trying for the organized play for tournaments and that sort of stuff for their games. But they did confirm that Biblios will be back this summer, which is one that I'm looking out for. And lastly, I, I, I mean, I have tons I could talk about, but I'll keep this kind of short. Last was uh, Progress from Passport Game Studios. It's originally done by Niskin or NSKN. Um, it just finished its Kickstarter. I got to play it today, and I'm kind of regretting not kickstarting it, but I'll just buy it when it comes to retail. Um, really cool tech tree game. So you have cards, and you pay for them with resources, so either by discarding cards or using stuff you've earned before. But because it's kind of a tree effect, if you have agriculture, you can get crop rotation and, you know, it pays for itself, kind of like in Seven Wonders where you have the different cards that interact like that. Um, smartly done, big old tech tree, very fun. Uh, can't wait to try that one out. And the last thing I'll talk about, oh gosh, I mean, it's too many minutes, but uh, I got uh, the new player pack for spoils. Yes, it's a TCG. Yes, I'm a sucker for any time someone's like, here's a card game. I'm like, yeah, okay. Uh, what I like is that it's a pretty complete player pack, so they're they're really trying to get people to play this again because it used to be out and sort of had a following, but the print runs and everything were just always off. So they're they're coming back and they're they're trying really hard and they're doing some cool stuff and they give you like all the foils in the world just to start and <laughs> the organized play kits have a lot in them so. I'm going to try those out in the next couple weeks and then give my thoughts on spoils. I'm sure I don't want to talk your ear off, so I'll say goodbye, but I've got more tomorrow. Bye, bye.